Record store day was not the windfall I was hoping for. What's a windfall? That shit like a waterfall? But... But with wind or some shit? Doesn't matter, my beautiful black friend. Nope, stop that. We need to have a record month sales-wise, or you're gonna have to get shot again, because we need money. Hey, Rugburn, we should sell shirts online. Would you say sell shirts online, TJ? You stupid ass. Wait, what'd you say? I said we should sell shirts online. Uh, you weren't just smoking with us, you just showed up. That would mean that you stole my gummy that I was saving for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Who are you gonna call? Winston. Well, DJ, unless you're rips and you have your super brain, you definitely didn't come up with a good idea, and that's a pretty good idea. Well, just test if he's high. Here. DJ, uh, open that wine bottle. Here I go. <laughs> huh, he actually had a good idea. Well... I'm going to design us some shirts, Ellis. I'm going to use my secret talent as a failed graphic designer to get us out of this hole. Yep. Glad I'm not just a graphic designer anymore and I work here. All right, DJ. Ruggs is very excited about this little fashion show, so when he comes out, be supportive. Supportive like a bra? What do you know about bras? I know they're pretty. My mom has three of them. I don't know about that, DJ. About that mom stuff. What color were they? Oh dear, he made a soundtrack. He made a soundtrack for his little fashion show. Come out here, Rugburn, and I'll keep your nipples warm. I don't know what that was. Alright, um, I spent all night getting these designed and screen printed, and I think you guys are gonna love them. You guys digging this song, by the way? An old demo of mine. I always thought it had potential. Less bad music, more shirts. Turn this music off. I'm gonna hold you in my arms and make you jiggle. What? Ellis, why is DJ saying that? I'm thinking he watches his mom take her clothes off. What the fuck? DJ, not now, man, not now. Come on, I'm doing something, okay? You're doing a fashion show. It's not a fashion show. Oh, wow, it's a fashion show. Okay, whatever. It's been a long year. Are you guys ready for this thing? The thing that's going to keep Pine Vinyl going? I'm going to give you great cleavage, Rugburn. Cool, you're fired. Man, I'm excited to see this shirt. Yeah, all right. Uh, I, James Rugburn, present the new Pine Vinyl shirt. Damn. I hope that's an extra small. No, it's a large, actually. Oof. Okay, who cares about my failure body? We're focusing on the design. Oh boy, Cooper Black logo. And I see you added a little speckles to it. To make it look like it's old and chipping away. I bet you called it Distressed logo or something. Uh, Get the hell out of here, you peach-faced fuck. Your belly looks angry. Yeah, it has like a little sad face. Put some food in it, I bet you it'll smile. Damn, that's two good ideas from DJ today. Not bad. Do you like the shirt or not? Do you like the shirt or not? Do you like the shirt or yeah, not? Yeah, whatever, it's a logo. I mean, is this this is what's saving the store? You looking like a half-dipped corn dog? Make your belly whistle. Fuck you, DJ. Uh, I thought I fired you already. And fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck whoever else is hiding in here. Cartoons for stoners. I wonder if I can masturbate while scrolling through Twitter. Let's find out. Yeah, I can make that, babe. Yeah. I can make any breakfast food you can imagine. Yes. Oh, for sure. I don't personally, but I can fry them up. Yep. That too. Yep. Uh, yeah. Damn, you're talking about one breakfast, right? Or is this like meal prep for the whole week? Well, it's kind of a lot. No, of course not, girl. I wasn't saying that not... I would never say that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can make that. And Instagram is the winner. All right, girl. All right, I'll see you tomorrow night. What the fuck? <laughs> Who's knocking on the door at this hour? Who is it? It's me, your friend Ellis. Open up. I need to talk to you. Ellis, you say. Interesting. What is interesting? Oh, the fact that you're not Ellis. You're the pillow man possessing Ellis's body. What? Who is the pillow man? I'm your best friend, Ellis. Prove it. When is my birthday? May 1st. What is my middle name? Randall. What was my first crush? Cindy McAmara. Batman or Superman? Batman. Raisin Bran or Frosted Flakes? Frosted Flakes. When did I learn how to ride a bike? Six years old. Have I ever hit a home run? Two of them. What flavor malts do I get? Strawberry. What's my favorite TV show? Mr. Belvedere. You're the pillow man. What? What makes you think that? I clearly know a lot about you. What, was I wrong on the TV show question? You're wrong about all of them. All of them are wrong. Then why'd you keep asking me questions? Because Ellis probably wouldn't remember any of the answers either. Okay, fine. Let me in. If you can go into bodies, I'm assuming you can go through walls. So... Fine. Have it your way. <laughs> Hello. I was hoping you could help me find a sort of old record. The Scissor Sisters? Yep, you got it. Over there. Over where? Isn't that your back room? You want me to go into your back room? Great. That'll be seventeen ninety nine. What will be seventeen ninety nine? Are you saying you have the record? Do you want a bag? A bag? I'm a bit confused. Are you saying that you have the record? or I? If it's so, yes, I will take the record. I do not need a bag. Oh, weird. That's where my mom's from. What? Your mom? I'm looking for the record for the Scissor Sisters. Have a good rest of the day. No, that, no. Hey, I'm sorry about him. Uh, what'd you need to find me? I'm looking for the Scissor Sisters. Yeah, I doubt that. I doubt that. You can go look over there, but... Over there? Uh, do you want me to go in the back room? I'm not going in the back room. Yeah, I don't know. We don't have it. So just go. Why don't you just leave? What happened? Wait, did you put us in our costumes before chaining us to the wall? Yes. I wanted to make sure when the cops find your decaying bodies, they know exactly who it is. Look, I need to jump on this right now. I'm not really an integral part of any of this. Uh, I mean, we own a shop together, but after that, I mean, I think, you know, it'd be fine if you let me go and then you just have him, right? This is definitely more his deal. I'm going to bounce what an absolutely awful friend. Oh, too late for that, Mr. Brownfur. It's Dr. Brownfur. Doctor of what exactly, fat white women? <laughs> what do you want, Pillow Man? I want you dead, plain and simple. I'm going to murder you both and then go to heaven to sit beside my lord. Hallelujah. Why us? What did we even do to you anyway? You destroyed my cult and used your friend DJ to murder me with ghosts. So why isn't DJ here? He's the one that did it, not us. What an absolutely awful friend. That's a good point. You guys wait here, and I'll bring him back so I can murder all three of you together. I'm assuming you have a plan? Oh... I've had it all along. DJ, come out. Hey guys, what's hanging? You guys are hanging. Did you take those weed gummies I told you to take? Yeah. Okay, good. Get us down. I can't. 
Why? You're high, right? Super smart brain, right? I'm not sure. DJ, did you eat those gummies I told you to eat? Yeah, but they tasted like batteries. DJ, why did they taste like batteries? I don't know. Son of a bitch. Did you eat batteries, DJ? Did you eat batteries, DJ? Yeah. Fuck. We're dead. Where's Rugburn? Uh, he's at his part-time gig up at uh, Bill Ocean Promotion, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, James, the meeting already started five minutes ago. Come on. So the way I see it, we have three industries that we have barely even tried to bring. Hello, Jim. Glad you could join us. Did you have a long night? Uh, not any longer than normal. Well, I see you're late again, so I guess I was just curious as to why you have such a difficult time being here at 8 in the morning. I was here at 8 in the morning. It's 10.15. Yeah, I was in my car for a while, I guess, before I came in. So what's this meeting about? Does it have anything to do with the graphics department in any way? It smells like you rubbed a dying skunk all over your body. That's weird. It shouldn't because I definitely don't remember doing that. Maybe you don't remember because you're high on marijuana. I've been high, but I've never been that high where I rubbed a skunk, so I'm pretty confident I didn't do that. Are you high right now? Uh, yeah. <gasps> Do you understand how inappropriate that is? Uh... No... <laughs> I'm literally putting logos inside dotted line boxes and sending it to production. Totally a job right in the wheelhouse of someone riding a good morning buzz. Where were you yesterday? Uh, I was at home. Went to Kohl's for a bit. Had some Kohl's cash to spend for my birthday returns. Uh, went to Cordoba for a uh, case burrito. Uh, picked up some weed from my guy. Uh, did some private stuff. Why weren't you at work? Is that what this meeting is about? Yesterday was Monday. Why were you not at work? Yeah, it was Monday. I don't work Mondays. Oh, are you Garfield? Why don't you think you work Monday? I work Tuesdays and Thursdays. You work Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 every day. No, I don't. I'm part-time. No, you're full-time. It's a full-time position. It's a 40-hour week. No way. Are you serious? You must be smoking that good stuff, Jim. I wish. It's actually a bit weaker than the normal weed, but... It hits the knees pretty good. Body high more than a head high, but... I don't care about your preference in drugs, Jim. I want to know how you plan on showing up every day drug-free and being productive part of this company. Every day? <laughs> Yuck. No thanks. This isn't a negotiation, Jim. I am letting you know this is what is being expected of you from this moment forward. You really shouldn't expect anything from me. It'll only disappoint you. Ask your mom. No, wait a minute. I have an idea, but I need you two to shut the fuck up and let me concentrate. Okay, Ellis. All right, you're our last hope. And I wanted to apologize for laughing earlier at Pillow Man's white fat women joke. That was not cool. Well timed, but not okay. Shut the fuck up. I am shutting the fuck up. <laughs> Boo! You're playing games with me. Good. I like games. Here's a little game I like playing called Kill the Idiots. Any last words? 
You ever hear that creepypasta? The one about the girl in the park? No. What would I care about a girl in a park? Oh, it's a fascinating tale. I'll tell you the quick version. Once there was a little girl who was buried in a park. Every night her spirit searches for the one responsible for her murder. Not until her murder, the man responsible, is dragged into the fiery pits of hell, will she ever be able to find rest in peace. Okay, so what? What does that have to do with me? Because she's about to finally get some rest. Hey, Pillow Man, go to hell. Hey, I do remember you. Hey, Ellis, what do I like more, Frosted Flakes or Raisin Bran? I have no idea. And that's because it's a trick question. I love, love, love Raisin Bran, but if I eat it, I have diarrhea for two days. So I eat Frosted Flakes more. But I prefer Raisin Bran. So if you are ever possessed again, that will be our security question. Okay? So the answer is Raisin Bran. Okay? Are you going to remember that? Probably not. Absolutely awful, friend. Well, enlighten me, Jim. Enlighten all of us. What should we expect from you? Expect from me? Hmm. You could expect some funny stories, maybe a lesson in 90s Britpop or the MCU. If anyone uh, is looking for some weed, I can call my guy as well. So that's kind of a nice thing to have around, I'd say. James Rugburn, you leave me no choice. Wait, before you say it, a few things. <clears throat> Brenda drinks vodka out of her 7-Up bottle. <gasps> Terry watches porn in his cube. No. Jen has been applying for jobs with competitors. No. Josephine has been stealing products and selling them for no. discount on eBay. No. And Courtney and Carl have been fucking during lunch, <laughs> even though they're both married to other people <laughs> in this meeting. <laughs> So what were you going to say, Mr. Ocean? You're fired. Good. This job sucks anyway. Later, fuckers. Hey, Ellis. You say that a lot. You know that? Say what? Hey, Ellis? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with that information, to be honest. Hey, Ellis. You know who I ran into at the post office? Jenny. Which one she be? She be the one I dated and got dumped by, and then you dated for a single night. That Jenny. Jenny with the titty tattoo, yeah. Anyway, she's an accountant, and she isn't a raging drunk anymore and offered to do her taxes for free, which is nice because of the no money issue. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa. You letting her look at all our finances and shit? Jenny, short little trickster who likes to throw shit? Throw shit? Like what? You dated her. You know how she is. She never threw anything at me. I mean, unless you count my broken heart. After she ripped it out of my chest and then th threw it back at me in the form of banging my best friend. Fuck you for that, by the way. Yeah, and I was wrong for doing that, and I wish I never met her. Okay? So call her and tell her not to come and do our taxes. If you want to save money, then I'll do them. Let me do the taxes. You? You're going to do the taxes? Yeah, me. Why? You don't think a black man can do the taxes? Like we're all bad at math or some shit? Is that what you're saying? Fuck you for that. Fine. If you want to do the taxes, go ahead. Uh, do the taxes. Yeah, and I'll show you how it's done. Hey, Ellis. Have you noticed that I've gotten a little... Fat? Yeah. Wow, I wasn't going to say that. What were you going to say? I was going to say, have you noticed that I've gotten a little... Balder? Yeah, fatter and balder. Have you noticed I've gotten a little more into St. Vincent lately? 
the musician. I was trying to start a music conversation, but now I just want to die. So never mind. Who's St. Vincent? Who cares? I'm a hairless slob, right? I didn't say you're hairless. Your dick has an Osama Bin Laden beard. Okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe you should exercise. Yeah. I've actually kind of started thinking about that myself. How do you stay so thin? Well, first, I don't eat a bucket of cereal before I go to bed, and I do yoga every morning. Nah, I can't do yoga. When I stretch, I fart, and I can't hold them in. Yeah, so what? Just do them when you're by yourself. Sometimes the farts are more than farts. Jesus Christ, man. Go to the goddamn doctor and figure your shit out. When we sat down to smoke, I honestly thought we would just have a fun, relaxing time. But oh my god, has this been unpleasant for me personally? Why? Because I'm an unfuckable human sloppy joe with a hairy crotch and obvious digestive concerns. Hey, I'm just assuming about your crotch, because I admittedly do not have proof, only a strong assumption that you have not trimmed your shit in years. Look. Instead of whining about it and having a bullshit pity party for yourself, get up off your ass and do something about it. If you want to feel better about yourself, then do something a better version of yourself would do. You're right. I know I'm right. I'm really smart. Sometimes. So where are you going to start? Uh, I could, uh, I could go for a run. There you go. Fresh air, get that blood pumping, legs burning. Yeah, maybe get my endorphins going a little, get the electrolytes hopping. Yeah, I'm going to go for a run, Ellis. Then what are you waiting for? Well, I can't just go running in jeans. I need, like, special pants or something, don't I? All ready with the excuses. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. I just have to do it. Even in jeans, huh? Okay, well, wish me luck, Ellis. The new you is going to be all right. Thanks, Ellis. And thanks for giving me some much-needed tough love by pretending I was balding and fat and all that and over-exaggerating all that so that I'd get motivated. That was really kind of you. I'm gonna go fucking running. <laughs> hey, Ellis. What did she throw at you? Her car keys. And not just, like... A few keys on a ring either. I mean, like, big motherfucking metal-ass keychain. You know, big old carabiner and shit with, like, all kinds of other dumb shit weighing it down. I caught a bottle opener in the forehead. Interesting. What did you do? What did I do? I got the fuck out of there. What the fuck would you do? Stay there? Well, she didn't give me that option. She just dumped me for you, because she thought you two were going to fuck forever, I guess, but, oh, didn't work out. But no, my question is... What did you do to make her throw her keys at you? And I told you nothing, but if you really want to know, uh, I told her all beautiful women in their 20s have a fat friend in their circle. And she said, But all my friends are skinny, so it's not true in this case. No, you didn't. Did you? Did I what? Tell her that she's 100% the fat friend? You know I did. Okay. And then she threw her keys. And she key threw her eight pound set of keys at my head, yes. So yeah, don't have her come here. Please. Yeah, that's fine actually. It was a bit awkward talking to her again. Uh but, hey, but at least she remembered my name. Which is it's a win, I'm gonna count it as a win, whatever. Uh hey, good luck on the taxes. <laughs> All right, let's do these taxes. What do we got? First thing first, let's find out a few things in this motherfucker, all right? What is tax? All right, what's this saying? A compulsory con contribution to state revenue li levied by the government on workers' income and business profit. Yeah, all right. I got this. This is just simple math, and I can do math. <laughs> it should be easy. Hey, Ellis. How are taxes going? Do you have all the documents? Yep, all good. Go sell some records and let me handle the math. All right? Your confidence is inspiring, Ellis, as always. Uh, 
If you need any help, let me know. I don't need help. But if you do. I wonder what this dumbass is talking about, documents. I don't need documents. I'm just going to crunch these numbers, right? I'm just going to crunch these numbers. Let's do this. Damn, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, Ellis, is everything under control? Damn, why you keep doing that shit? You see me working. I'm working the numbers right here. You know how deep I am into this? I see you have a little kid notebook there and the words tax shit. All right. It's all in my head. You see, I have it all in here. I only I only write down the answers. You just caught me in the middle of mind computing my big ass equations and stuff. And like, just, you know, look, look I just, I got, I got to start all over now because you come back here every 10 minutes. Okay, shit. Alice. Open that laptop sitting there, and the browser is all set up to go directly to TaxTurboAmerica.com, where I got you started. All you need to do is input the information from that sheet there, called a 1060, and, uh... I don't need your help, I got this. I don't need your help, I got this. I don't need your help, I got this. Yeah, you totally seem like you got it. I like the visor. It's a real commitment to the bit. I don't need help. 45 minutes later... Yeah, so what you saying, bitch? Itemize deductions? The fuck this robot tax shit? Speak English. How about you deduct my nuts from the bang your mouth? It sounds like you're losing the battle, friend. The fuck you know about it? You don't know anything about this. You don't know what this thing is doing to me. You don't know what it's saying to me. Asking me questions about everything. All this shit. A and A, 2B. 2B, fuck you, right? Whatever. It's okay to not be good at math. You can be black and not be good at math. Believe me, there's millions of you. No, I ain't listening to you. Look, I don't need technology. Fuck technology. I don't need help, right? All I need to do is get back to some basics, do some adding and subtracting, you know, and just crunch these numbers, right? You're being super weird about this. I don't need help. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Uh, good to see you. Remember me? Yeah. Um, I have a few questions for you, if you had the time. Uh, I'll take that as a yes, all right? Uh, question one. Uh, what the hell you been doing, girl? Because you're looking fine as hell. I thought I was fat. Girl, look. No, 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 no. You have to know something. <laughs> this is important. You got to know. I like fat girl. <laughs> oh, look at that. He did need help. Hey, Jenny. Uh, I actually have a few questions uh, since you're an accountant. And um, real quick, though, would you like to go on a road trip with me this summer? I'm sorry, Nathan. I'm just not interested. Oh, I heard that. She called you Nathan, dog. Not only she forgets your name, but you lied about her remembering your name. Damn, dude, that shit must hurt bad. Ooh. Hey, Jenny, tell me about itemized deductions. Look at there, another running enthusiast. She looks like she knows what she's doing. I better warm up, too, and get these quads loose so I don't pull a muscle. Did you hear those ducks? They must be flying in for the season, huh? Okay. I'm gonna go running. All right, I'm running. Feels good. Take deep breaths. Breathe in that beautiful spring air. Smells like hot trash. All right, don't worry about that. Just feel that burn. Legs are getting a little wobbly. Getting pretty hard to breathe. Let's try to focus on something else. I think tomorrow I'm gonna start parting my hair. And maybe I'll uh, give those dairy pills another try. Ooh, boy, I'm tired. Looking good, jeans. The fuck, did someone just call me jeans? All right, who cares, just let's focus. Ooh. Ooh. Getting pretty tired. 
getting pretty fucking tired. Lungs are on fire and my legs are gonna fall off. I think I'm gonna stop. I can't do this. I'm I'm gonna stop. No rug burn, stop with excuses. You're an immature man child who lives like the like an eight-year-old. Now stop being such a soft little bitch and take control of your life. Don't give up, grow up. No rug burn, goddammit, run! Run like you your life depends on it. Push, rug burn, push! Nope, I'm done. I'd rather be dead. <clears throat> You only went two blocks. That was worse than I thought you'd do. Maybe you should stop the new you by shaving your nuts or buying a hat or some shit. Easy stuff, you know? Hey, Burnout Benny. Why do we have to meet in this park? My place is being watched, man. I saw Officer Back is peeking in my windows when I got back from the gym. Going to the gym? Nice, good for you, Benny. Yeah, I was selling shrooms and frisbees in their parking lot. Made like five grand in an hour. Nice. So this new stuff's pretty fun. It's called the 8-bit. What the hell did you just say? It's called the 8-bit. It's kind of a weird name, I know, but it means... I know exactly what it means. It means Nintendo and Sega and Mario and Mega Man and Earth of the Night and Power Blades and Evil Sons that drop fire. It means we're all gonna get lit and go 8-bit. Yep, let's go. Oh, wow, uh, yeah, uh, that would be cool, man, but no, it's actually different. You smoke it and you then get bit by eight mosquitoes in a row. Hence the name 8-bit. I don't have time for this, man. Are you doing a joke? Is this a bit? Is it a video game weed or not? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Cool. Gave me a thousand dollars worth. Alright, where we be? We be in the world of 8-bit gaming, Alice. Look up there. It's telling us the adventure that lay ahead. <clears throat> the friendly village of Pineville has been taken over by an army of evil ghouls and goblins. Their leader, Awful Bacchus, wants to rip out all the beautiful pine trees and rid the land of good vibes. Protect the magic pines as you make your way to awful Bacchus's evil lair and save the village from evil. Is there gonna be clowns in this thing? Cause I ain't fucking with no clowns today. Nah, this seems more like a horror themed game. Maybe some zombies, werewolves, definitely bats. There's always bats. But doubt any clowns. One more question. Why am I dressed like Left Eye from TLC? I don't get that reference, but I got a sweet ass blaster arm. We got three lives. Let's do this. Word. Look at these ugly fuckers. Suck my blast, you rat bastards. I think we need to climb those ladders. Man, these are long fucking ladders. Ain't they got some elevator or some shit? Be careful, Ellis. There's always little flying enemies during these ladder parts. Oh, look, I see one. Whee! What the fuck was that? It looked like a pig's in a blanket. Not sure, but it left a power up. Jump out there and grab it. Are you nuts? Look at how high we are. I ain't jumping out in that shit. Just jump and change directions mid-flight and land back on the ladder. Mega Man does it all the time. Mega Man? What, are you doing some Trump stuff? I thought we were done with Trump stuff. What? No, just, you'll be fine. Just jump and grab it. Look, it's like a three-way blaster. That could really help versus the boss. You sure I could just change directions and land back on the ladder right in mid-air? You think I can do that? Yeah. I can't think of a single game that didn't allow it. You'll be fine. All right, but you better not be lying to me. Trust me, Ellis. I had no friends. Yeah, that's true. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, fuck! I did think of one. Castlevania. You can't change directions when when you're playing Castlevania. Well, now I know. Now I only got two lives, motherfucker. But guess what? You're dead, bitch. You can't hurt me, Ellis. We're on the same team. 
man, <laughs> you're really not good at video games. And you are no good at pleasing women. And you will be alone for the rest of your life. Uh, update. I was wrong. Apparently teammates can hurt each other. Hey, DJ. You want to go half on a Fat Lorenzo's? Yeah, okay. Cool. You got any money? Yeah, let me grab it. Here's 99 kajillion smackaroonies. You better stop that shit. Hey, guess who I ran into at Walgreens? John F. Kennedy? That was weird. DJ, that was even weird for you. Why? Because it was. But tell me why it was weird. DJ, stop. You're ruining my story. DJ wants to know why it was weird. Why don't you just tell him why it was weird to say John F. Kennedy? Are you serious? You don't know who John F. Kennedy is either? Of course I know who he is. All oh, right, you're just being a prick. Durr. Why is it weird that you ran into John F. Kennedy? Because he's fucking dead, DJ. He's been dead for like 60 years, so it'd be pretty goddamn wild for me to just happen upon him out of the fucking blue in a suburban Minnesota Walgreens. Wouldn't it? Tell me how he died. If you don't shut up, I'll show you. You ruined my story. Damn it, DJ, you know that's unacceptable here. I ran into your mom. My mom? No, Ellis's mom, and I'm not talking to you today. You ruined my story on purpose. You crossed the line. Was John F. Kennedy the elephant man? And now you're unemployed. Get out. Get out. Anyway, so there I am in line at Walgreens holding my new pack of condoms because I ran out again. I think I find pregnant women very, very sexy. I think I have a pregnant fetish. A pregger fetish. I should set a reminder to look into this later. Set a reminder for 3.30 p.m. Great. What do you want to be reminded of? Uh... Baby maker fun video? Is that Alice's mom? I haven't seen her in over seven years, but I think that's her. Looks about the same age, though. But black don't crack, right? What if I say hello and then she starts freaking out about them all not looking alike and I'm labeled a racist and I get canceled all because my high ass made a bad decision in line at Walgreens? It really does look like her, though. I've been staring at her now for about a full minute, so I better say something soon. Oh, speak of the devil. Here's Mom's now. Nice. Did she say she saw me? Yep. Did she say how funny I was? I think you should finish your story, and then I'll tell you what she said. Uh, okay. So, I saw your mom there in line, and I said, Hey, hope you've been, hope you've been healthy, staying healthy and good. Everything good? You good? Okay. Crazy about these royals, right? Just seeing in the magazine here, asking about skin color. I mean, can you be any more racist? <laughs> Why am I doing a Chandler Bing impression? She's never seen friends. The more I look at her, I'm not sure that's Ellis's mom after all. I mean... Ah, is it? I'm glad I didn't start whipping names around. She seems like someone who could absolutely end me. I really need to stop staring at her. Did she mention that I, uh... I was staring at her? Yeah, she did. Thought she might think that. That was just bad communication. I wasn't staring at her. Do you have a reward savings card? I do. I do, but I don't have it on me. Can I... No problem. We can just get your phone number right on this keypad. Perfect. Thanks. Boop. Wait. I started typing my social security number, and why would I do that? That's not what he's asking for. He's asking for my phone number, which, which is... Oh, fuck. 
It was there, now it's gone, and I won't remember it the rest of the day. I'll remember it tomorrow, but I'm not gonna remember it now. What is my phone number? God. Damn it. Yeah, it's completely gone. Should I just start typing a different one? It's gonna say it's the wrong one, and then they're both gonna look at me like I'm a goddamn idiot. Just type your phone number in the keypad. I am typing it in. I'm typing my phone number in the keypad. Thanks. Hey, while we're waiting, uh, explain to me again the savings rewards that those in the program can can expect. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, after you spend $50, we credit $5 to your account, which adds up as you continue spending. Also, a plethora of cost savings store-wide. Uh, it's a great program to be in. Would you like to sign up for one? Or did you have a phone number? Yeah, I have a phone number. Just one second. All right, this is what my mom said. Oh dear, a mentally retarded racist man keeps staring at me and now just said my name. Oh no, now he's getting kicked out. Be careful out there. Boy, she's whipping out the R word, huh? Hey, that's offensive. I'm offended. What R word? Racist or retarded? Retarded. Weird. The elephant man didn't have a trunk. He just had funny bones. Tell your mom that's not very nice to say to people, okay? Tell her to maybe grow up a little bit, okay? Using the R word. She should be ashamed. She taught special education for 36 years. She just diagnosed your ass. You have a lot in common with your mom, I can tell. What'd you do to get kicked out of Walgreens? I don't know, ask your mom. Fine, I will. Oh, stop, I'll tell you. Are you not able to remember your phone number? I remembered my phone number, I typed it in, but your uh, little system here didn't, uh, didn't work, okay? It let me down, okay? Well, I don't want to see you get mad, so how about this? I'll just override this and uh, give you a 15% discount, just for today, how about that? That seems like a pretty good compromise. I'll accept it. That's great. So uh, your total will be twelve ninety nine. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Pretty great deal. Thanks. Son of a bitch! I forgot my wallet. Jesus Christ! How did I even get here? This new weed is too much. I have no way to pay for this magazine, and this arrogant prick already thinks he's better than me. Is this why I came to Walgreens for a dumb magazine about hot ass Meghan Merkel? Do I need some body wash? Is that Ellis's fucking mom or what? God, it looks a lot like her. I'm staring at her again. Sir, I'm sorry, but if you're unable to pay, then you're gonna have to leave. Well, guess what, Tony? That's totally fine because I don't even remember why the fuck I came here. It seems like going out in public is getting harder for you. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree. Bzz, bzz. Oh. I'll be back in 15 minutes. Oh no, this is what I was worried about. The dreaded ice level. I hate ice levels. Why? Because the ground is slippery and it's impossible to stop all shit. Here I go. Oh, God, towards the bottomless pit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Please stop, please stop. Please stop. Oh, All right, now we're even, I guess. Two lives left. Oh, shit, I'm sliding again. What the fuck? I wasn't even... God, God, fuck. All right, let's get off this stupid level before I die again, okay? I don't know. I kind of like it here. Yeah, I know you do, because you're an asshole. Wait, am I... You have got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it. Oh, oh what? You stole one of my lives. That ain't fair. I had to push start. You can't beat the boss alone. Now, this looks like the final level. Castle levels are usually the end. Is that a skeleton come creeping up on us? Yeah, all game castles have killer skeletons. Let's go.
quick, let's get to this door before the spikes come down. <clears throat> All right. We have to jump on these platforms and get to the top of the tower fast. You go first and I'll cover you in case any of those skeletons pop up. Word. Oh, where are you going? Vanishing platforms. Classic. All right, Ellis. Anytime you enter a large empty room, it means you're about to fight a boss. But it seems too soon for a final boss. <laughs> oh, it's a clown! It's a clown! I played Contra enough times to know always aim for the big red circle. On the roof. This is the final boss. That must be him. <laughs> you think you can defeat me? I will destroy you. All right, Alice, we have to blast together. Are you ready? You let me die like three times. Fuck you. I ain't helping you do yourself. Well, you're lucky I see a power up. Hey, Bacchus. Game over. You come back again, Bacchus. You're not going to be so lucky. Son of a bitch. Where is it? Why we stop? She's selling lemonade now. What, that little girl? So what? She was just selling cookies there three weeks ago. Uh, do you know that little girl? Yeah. She's a psychotic little bitch. Wow, she's eight years old. Little girl. Like I give a flying fuck how old she is. She belongs in prison. Forever prison. You need to collect yourself. You're being a bit irrational towards that little girl, and frankly, it's making me a little uncomfortable. You don't know what she is, or what she has done, and I will never tell you. And you will never know. What did she do to you? Oh, you must have not heard me before. I will never tell you, and you will never know. What'd she do to you? Hey, are you guys thirsty? Lemonade, two dollars a cup. Don't fucking talk to me. I wouldn't buy lemonade from you if I was dying of thirst. You've lost your fucking mind. Hey, I remember you. Did you like your box of cookies? Eat shit and die, you little demon bitch. You have to tell me what she did to you. Fine. It was three weeks ago. I was going to buy a new turntable from some guy, and on my way to picking it up, I see her. Little Miss Keebler selling her bullshit cookies. Hey, support my troop! Buy a box of cookies! No thanks. I already bought some this year, and I'm probably not even going to eat those. So, thanks, though. Good luck, though. So what? So what? I don't need any cookies. I don't want them. Thanks, though. You won't support our troop? We need the sails so we can go kayaking up in the boundary waters. I'm sure you'll get to go kayaking with or without me, okay? It usually works out that way, so... No, we won't! This is our last day and no one has walked by and we're $150 short! Well, uh, maybe go around the corner. There's a lot more traffic over there. I only have five more minutes before my dad picks me up! Uh, I'm leaving, okay? I have to go. Good luck. My daddy said I always tell him if an adult ever touches me. Uh, what was that? I said my daddy doesn't like it when adult men touch his little girl. I didn't touch you. Uh, aren't you a little young for blackmail? What is blackmail? Is that you touching me in my privates? Look, this isn't cool, and that is not funny. This is no game. Stop! Don't touch me there! Are you fucking serious with this? Buy a hundred fifty dollar worth of cookies. No! Stop! I'm just a little girl! Shut your mouth! I didn't touch you, and I'm leaving! Oh, good! Here comes my daddy! What? Where? 
I'm so happy he's out of prison. Prison? What? How, why did he get sent to prison? He gets mad sometimes and goes a little crazy. Wait till he finds out I can't go to the Boundary Waters on the kayak trip and that some strange man tried to molest his only daughter. You wouldn't. $150 and this box of cookies is yours. What? Now I only get one box of cookies? If I pay $150, I want all of them. But my daddy will be mad if he doesn't get his cookies. Oh, so I'm buying your fucking dad cookies now? Guess so. Fine. But just know that you are an awful, awful person and you will never find happiness. Oh, you're stupid. I'm very happy. I get to go kayaking. Yay! Have a nice day. Did you ever see her dad? No, he never got out of the car. She worked you like a soft little bitch. Well, she's not going to this time. Hey, Cookie Girl, how was your Boundary Waters trip? Did you get to go kayaking? Oh, yeah, I quit. I never went. I joined volleyball. LMFAO. Uh, you let a little girl tie you up in a knot like that? <laughs> Embarrassing. Hey, would you like to buy some lemonade? Saving up for a tournament in Wisconsin Dells for my volleyball team. Uh, no thanks, sweetie. Uh, but good luck raising your money. You know what? Fuck that little bitch. Yeah, and this $300 lemonade, it's just warm water. God, I hope she didn't piss in this. Pine Vinyl.